to uh, uh, see you here in Hawaii. Thank you for having us here first, and uh, let's turn on the AC. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. First thing, like right? Here. So we're here uh, for the test drive of the new Honda Odyssey, which is third generation, right? Fifth generation. Fifth? Fifth generation. Oh my God! I, what did I miss? Three. Oh, the pilot is three. No, there's five generations. This is the fifth generation. No, for the, the pilot. Oh, the pilot, the pilot three, is three, yes, right? Yes, this yes, is yes. the fifth. Okay, yes. that's what I was confused. Yes. This has evolved obviously a lot since the, the first generation like when the minivans were like pretty much boxes with wheels, yes, right? Yes. Uh, this looks almost like, doesn't look like a minivan. If you take it from a different angle, we'll be taking pictures through the whole day here in Hawaii. And some of the comments are exactly that. It doesn't look like a minivan. Well, we're glad to hear that. I mean, uh, we as Honda have always embraced the minivan, but we're glad that people think it's maybe a little more sporty than the yeah. traditional minivan. It's form and function also. It's not, it doesn't look good, but it's also like very aerodynamic. I mean, for example, something that, I mean, it's a very small detail maybe, but uh, the side doors, you don't see that wide railing <laughs> hole on the side. Now yeah. it's very well hidden yes. into the, the, the frame of the window, right? Yes, we were able to hide it uh, above the B-line and below the window, so it basically just disappears. So obviously there's a lot of uh, in the design story of the Odyssey, but also, I mean, in the engineering and technology. Why don't we talk a little bit about that? Starting with the engine and transmission on that. We have a 280 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6 engine, uh, and we have made it with two transmissions. There's an available nine speed automatic transmission and the world's first 10 speed automatic transmission in a front wheel drive vehicle application. And what will be the difference between that? Because for some people who are not very technical, we'll say like nine to 10, what's, what's the big difference? Well, the, the 10 speed that we have is developed in house by Honda, and we focus very much on very smooth uh, operation and refinement in the, in the mission. Yeah, um, but uh, does that give you better mileage, a better performance? I mean, better everything, I guess, because otherwise you wouldn't do it. <laughs> That's right, and the, the, the 10 speed has a very wide spread, so it has very tall gear at the high end, which allows us to have low RPM and get better fuel economy. Uh, but because there's 10 gears fixed in there, whenever you put a demand on the accelerator pedal, the engine and transmission combination is able to match that, we think very smoothly and intuitively. Yeah. This car also has tons of technology, thinking always about the family. I mean, obviously the driver is important, but like we've got a lot of face back there. We do. So, Tell us a little bit about what are the highlights of the technology and the features in this car. The biggest things that we have is what we call our magic slide second row seat, which allows, uh, with especially with child seats installed, very easy access to the third row. The entire seat, even with the child seat installed, move towards the center of the car, giving a big space into the third row. We think that's great for families, especially families that have young children. Uh, in addition, we've uh, got some electronic features, a brand new HMI system that we've developed that we call Display Audio. Uh, some of the features in that uh, include what we call cabin watch, uh, which is a camera mounted here in the rear that allows you to see the whole rear of the cabin even if your kids are in child yeah. seat. It's also lit by infrared light so you're able to see at night. At if your night. Kids you are don't have to turn on the light to that's wake right. them up. Okay, that's pretty smart. And also the entertainment system, which is pretty important for the people in the Yes, block, it right? is. Yeah, we got a rear entertainment system that, uh, is, uh, of course, has a Blu-ray player. You can, see you can play traditional discs, but we also offer a streaming capability. On some of our grades, uh, we have built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi that you can stream yeah. movies through there or use your own cell phone as a data pipeline. Yeah. And also, utility is a big key of this because even though we have three rows of, uh, of seating, you still have a lot of space in the back. Yes, you do. You can fit up to eight passengers and still have a lot of room for cargo behind the third row seat. If you don't have that many passengers, you can fold the third row seat flat and have tons of cargo space and enough room for five and Then passengers. the seats are completely removable, right? Yes. Like the second row can second be row taken seats, out? Second row seats are completely removable. Third row stows uh, flat with the loads. Okay, so when uh, you guys invited us to come here and do the test drive, you invited our, fami our families. I don't have a family mm -hmm. and I couldn't create one in a month. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get some... Uh, Let's adopt some kids, kids from right, here right. and uh, see how, how we can uh, do a little drive and, and see how it goes. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay, so My here we are. Side. As I said, uh, when you invited me, uh, they they said to bring the family. I couldn't make a family this big in a month. So <laughs> this is try family. as you might. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go for a little family drive in the Odyssey. Please behave back there. Oh, not reverse. The other way. So Chad, so now we have like almost full capacity because we could fit another person in the third row, we could maybe. Fit another person in the third and row. What happens here in the middle? If we had uh, the mid-row center seat for eight passenger capability comes as standard, we've removed it here so we can showcase the magic slide seat functionality. 
So we have passengers pretty much all sizes. I mean, he's pretty tall and he's really comfortable. And Super in the back comfortable. you have tons of space back there, right? No, yes. Yes. Plenty of space. I have plenty of space. <laughs> That's great. So can you tell me how that uh, cabin, what is it called officially? Cabin watch. Okay. Yeah, so we've got an application that we call cabin watch. Oh, and there you, you can are. See the whole, you can see the whole rear view of the car. You can pan and zoom. Wow. I can zoom in oh, on Dave, Mr. Davis's head here. So this is like an iPhone. I mean, it really operates it that same way. Like you can zoom in, like being yes. seen and all that. Yes. And uh, if, if we happen to be in the car at nighttime with our kids, yeah. uh, there's an infrared yeah. <laughs> lighting that will be able to be able to see the kids even at nighttime. Okay. Uh, what about the other function, the one that you can yell at them? Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> We can activate cabin talk. Cabin talk is built mainly to, spoke, to speak through the rear entertainment system headphones when yeah. the kids aren't paying attention, but we can also talk to the speakers. So we can shift the volume up, and then my voice is being amplified to the third row. So you guys can hear them a little bit better, and in, in the headsets they can hear as oh, well. So they go through the. So if they were watching a movie and you had something to tell to them, they yes. were like, it's like a plane almost. Exactly. Yes. Kids oh, were, pulled, okay. were pulling up to the drive through. What would you like? Uh, I'd like to have a cheeseburger. I'll just I have want a vanilla a, shake, please. I want strawberry. <laughs> okay, that's super French cool. French fries. <laughs> so uh, there's another very cool feature on on, on it, uh, which is uh, are we there yet? App, I think it's called or something. Like yeah, that? that's that's available on the rear entertainment screen. So when we have a destination programmed into the navigation system. Oh, these kids are well behaved. Yeah, they're, I, I've done they're, a good job. <laughs> He beats he us. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so our app, our app is called How Much Farther. Okay. And you can't see it right here, right now, but back there, they're able to see a uh, kind of bar from your source and how far you are from the destination. Uh, and then there's also five different get this scenes, camera. Uh, themes that allow you to. And obviously, I mean, yeah. through the electronics, they can have their own fun, but they can also. Yelled naturally. Are That's we there right. yet, yes. right? Yes. So can we hear? Uh, are we there yet? How much farther? How much farther? Oh, how are much we farther? there yet? It's, it says 20, 20 miles. miles away, but we're on the way. I just saw Honda. Minutes. See on the bottom yep. left corner. Make a U-turn. Oh, make a U-turn. So sorry. <laughs> so anyway, this is super fun. Um, and obviously, there's a lot in this car that, that we cannot cover in like this very short drive. But uh, those functions are fantastic for like big, big families. I mean, this is not. I mean, yeah, we're six now, and like we could feed another two. What about a dog? We can feed a dog too, yes, right? Good. Well, thank you very much to our adopted family here in Hawaii. Thank you for. Uh, Thanks, Dad. In 300 feet, <laughs> make a U-turn when possible. Well, we're not gonna listen to that because we already we reached our destination here at the Lava Lava Beach Club lava with, lava. The, with the 2018 Honda Odyssey. So, thank you very much, everybody. Thank You're you, welcome. Chad, thank for you. the thank information you and. Uh, I understand you said about you sell about ten thousand of these a month, right? Uh, roughly, yes. Wow, that's uh, that's amazing. So I'm, I'm sure you're gonna sell a lot more with this. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye.